Okay, Edward. I'm literally screaming because... <laughs> what happened? Uh, what were we talking about just now? Where I was like, oh my god, I, I have something to talk about. Ku ah! Dementia again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the other day. What happened? I went to... Do you have you heard of that... that uh, what would you even call it? It's not a club. It's not a lounge either. And it's not like a pub. It's like... You know the it's a cocktail saloon, bar. It's a saloon. 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 You know, like the wet, old western cowboy type of. They walk into the bar. And it's like a bunch of wooden tables, a bar at the end. Does it involve sex service or? I'm just. Kidding. You. What is no, a saloon? No, it doesn't. A saloon. A saloon is like. Okay. <sighs> so it's like a bar, a big bar, yeah, but very western style American. Um, in Italy, there's one called Grand Ole Opry, and it's very popular. <gasps> Is it like an Irish kind of bar, that kind of Western uh, style? I guess so, but more American. Okay. Um, like chicken, chicken wings with beer. Like it would, it looks like it would have that vibe, but there's no food. It's just oh. cheap alcohol, very oh. cheap. I'm talking like five, like three thousand one mm -hmm. bottles of beer. Mm -hmm. And then the only downside is you have to pay with cash. Um, so you just pull some cash on. But anyway, mm. so I went there with Mr. Holloway the other day, and lately it's been really full. Um, that place is kind of well known because the uh, the bartenders and the people that run it are a bunch of ajuma. Mm -hmm. um, I guess the main the main owner, her husband was American soldier. Oh, I see. Whatever. Um, waiting there, sit there. Not even like we finally see. Not even two minutes in. Very handsome European man sitting by. I was like, I was like, oh, is there anybody sitting here? He's like, no, you can sit there. So we're sitting down. He was like, he looked at me and very seriously. He was like, are you Ollie London? Are you serious? I, I wish I was joking, Eddie, but he literally was like, you look like Ollie London. I was like, and at first, okay, my first reaction was, this is, that's fucking hilarious. But also immediately I was like, what part of me looks like Ollie London? Because I've gotten this comment before, okay. but I'm like, what part of me looks like, I, I do not, I look nothing like, besides like maybe my nose and blonde hair, but we look nothing alike. But <laughs> I think, I think the blonde hair. The, but probably yes i don't know he but but not ollie london yeah you could clearly tell that I was upset he's oh. like oh no i was just kidding it was a joke i was like you don't joke gonna, like that. make a joke make it funny yes right so for me i i think it's so fun people drag when you drag me and people drag i think it's funny but i feel like there's like a, a certain extent when it's just an insult mm -hmm. you know but I cannot believe there's a very handsome European man. You thought that he's hitting yeah. on you, and then turns out he he's asking if you're Ollie yeah. London. Looking back now, it's pretty fucking funny. But at the time, I was genuinely upset. Usually, stuff like that doesn't upset uh -huh. me. But I was like, and so Hollywood, the whole he's like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm fine." You're not fine. You I know, was not fine. As an introvert like you and you guys, you <laughs> when you guys are upset, and then. <laughs> We don't talk. Yeah, you don't talk, and then you just sit there, and then people know that you're upset, but there's nothing you can do about ah, it. Yeah. Only time can, time can heal, yeah. like can heal you. But mm. you know, then, but I'm pretty sure that night was that night was ruined. Kind of. Yeah. Luckily, it was kind of just the beginning, and um, after like maybe a drink in, I was totally fine. But I just like, thinking about, it, I'm just like, at least did he lie has lie your in. number, or girl, no, he left like a minute after he said that. So, oh, yeah, I think he was ready to leave. Why wrong? You know, leave your number. <laughs> ah, he's like, he's like, would you like? A fun Korean night, private tour with Ollie London or something like I'll I'll I'll, I'll ask. Maybe he can tell Ollie London up himself on his uh, mm -hmm. social media. Mm -hmm. Um, wasn't there something you said you wanted to talk about? I was gonna. First of all, last episode we were like we're going to talk about Blackpink, Blackpink. girl. Yeah, that did not go well, so we decided not to upload that. <laughs> yeah, we, we, I felt like a lot of people would get really offended by really it. Really offended. So, yeah, mm -hmm. mainly because of me. What yeah, I said. Yeah, mainly because of you. You yeah, fucking. Yeah, because but... I'm just I I'm just afraid my um mm. honest opinion will offend a lot of people. Probably. So we decided to actually put put that on hold. But on we, hold, not even on hold. We threw yeah, out we, the fucking the yeah, trash we, shoot. Nowadays, you just want to be careful. Uh, <laughs> but I just want to say that like everything I said, we said on the show is authentic. Uh, Edward's keeping looking on the set because my dog is bothering uh, him. No, she's fine. Authentic, and yet here we are re-recording the episode. So, mm -hmm. I um, do you think I should uh, throw him a uh, throw my dogs uh, a kind of misgendering Miss Kaura? No, Miss Kaura's um, wombs is like removed already, so <laughs> she does not have the ability to give birth. But she's still a woman. Because, okay, exactly. Yeah, so why yeah, you misgendering her? Her, her uh, reproductory 
you know, um, in, system, it does not define her identity as a woman. So, yeah, I took that back. Our dogs in America also got our little dog, like kind of like Cowdy, Cowda, <clears throat> plus our big dog, both got their neutered. neutered. That shit smells so bad. The, the smell of rotted testicles and vaginas on dogs is so horrid. They get neutered in the hospital and they hmm. sort of. Do it while it's healing. Oh, I was healing. Oh, it smells. Yeah, because you cannot bathe them or yeah. anything. Because I think because you have a bigger dog, you have well, a small dog. Big, I saw big, it. medium and small. Yeah. Yes. Um, I think maybe the the, the bigger the dog, me is. Mm-hmm. I mean, the more smelly. Much. We had to yes. put like the cones on them. So they yes. Don't, they don't, they don't end up licking. Yeah. Yes. Licking an open wound. Oof. I think that's Ooh. just that licking your wounds, like licking, because the dog cannot, they cannot really talk and they cannot express yeah. their feelings. So yeah. they just lick where wherever that's bothering them. Just um, like me, I'm um, I'm bothered by men, so I um, I you choose to. Um, that's just not. Do you ever bad. watch the show and think, what the fuck was I saying? <laughs> no. Um, Sometimes I think your ADHD gets to you, and in the moment you're probably like, oh my, I'm eating up this joke. No, but then you look back and you say, my ADHD like, does not define me. Like, it's not everything about me. It doesn't define you, but you bring it up all the time. Same thing with your fucking fashion. See, the thing is, I work in fashion, right? I'm like, I do work in fashion. Yeah, I do but have ADHD. It's like basically your identity at this point. <laughs> uh, and yet you are looking like this. Yeah, this is my new sweater. I'm not sure if you guys Which like I it. I feel like they can't appreciate the the crop top it vibe. A, it has a crop thing. But you're 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 so short that it's not a crop top yeah. anymore. No, they, they purposely made it like um so it doesn't reveal too much because it's still so it's a like Korean between. brand. Yeah, it's still a Korean brand. So you don't want like I think a lot of Korean men they don't want to show All actually force, show their yeah. belly yeah. on the street. It's just giving you the vibe of cropped mm-hmm. um t shirt, but it's not really crop cropped, mm-hmm. which is um it says a lot about Korean society yeah you know, just giving you it's giving you the you know appeal and everything but it's actually yeah still yeah. fits in the korean standard if it were me it would be the opposite where it's like barely covering the areola a little bit of under boob and just the areola, just a hint of it if i do this nipples completely exposed you you just okay <laughs> he doesn't know what to say <laughs> <gasps> would you ever wear like a, I appreciate your taste or fashion Would you ever wear crop top shirts where it's like Rather short like almost like mm, To the pectoral if, if I'm not in Korea if I'm in Korea I think I'll get arrested I like I literally so? will get arrested Because there's a there's a crime in Korea Called I think um, mm-hmm. Or like you Public indecency Yes yeah that's um, I think people get caught really? and they uh, drag into. Oh, you know, I watched this this morning. I just sent uh, a reel to my friend mm-hmm. uh, because I in this year's Halloween I was in Shanghai, so mm-hmm. I dressed uh, dressed up as um, Julie in Zootopia, uh-huh. yeah, and I saw like three same. Uh, People where <laughs> they all get the the, the outfit from Taobao, which is the, the, the AliExpress. But yeah. that's not the point. I, I saw a walking d- penis, a woman in a in, like inflated a penis suit uh, walking by, and then I saw her in the reels. So because I saw her in real life, oh and God, then I saw you, people post the video, but the, she get ar- arrested. Oh. Because yes. the reels I can send to you uh, because um, the reels is about um, people like like uh, shooting her like oh what are you in this hollow this year's Halloween and then the, the the woman replied I'm a dick I'm a walking dick <laughs> I'm and a now, dick I'm a walking it's, dick it's, it is supposed to be funny and everything uh, right what is this? And then the next um, clip is showing her that she get dragged to that, the, the police that is insane. <laughs> Is it like a cartoony looking dick or is it like realistic dick? Uh, cartoony looking oh, dick. Man. Apparently the, but, but the still apparently the Chinese police does not appreciate outfit like that. Girl. I think you, and he, I think in some certain costumes, if you wear in China, like the, a, a walking dick, walking vagina, I think you get you will get arrested. But of course you won't. You know you don't serve jail time. But mm-hmm. I think you will be dragged into the so police. Pay some fee. Yeah, fine. Sounds like something Korean police would do. You can have someone being assaulted and they do nothing about it. They're just like, uh, uh, uh. But go someone wears a dick costume, uh-huh. they're like, you're fucking going to jail. Like, I know, girl, right? So is our joke. And that same night, I heard a lot of people get arrested. For their... For their silk. costumes. That's why. Because my friend is telling me you have to be be careful about what you wear. 
And the, because I was wearing a police sort of uh, costume, and my friend said you cannot because the police uh, costume I wore was like American style, so it's like yeah, a blue, blue not, shirt and you're everything. You're not allowed to dress up as anything like an official. Yeah, if you do dress as a Chinese mm-hmm. style police, mm-hmm, then that is uh, to a point that's confusing. Yeah, yeah. Then you will get arrested. Maja, maja, maja. Yes, it's kind of similar to the thing about Disneyland. You're not allowed to dress up like any of the characters. Oh, because people will mistake you for you know the people that are there being the, the actors mm-hmm. um that's why a lot of people call it, i forgot what the, the term is called but it's the when you're like cosplay character but it's low-key like maybe just your shirt oh. or like some of the colors but that makes sense because mm-hmm. it's a commercial you know amusement park yeah people like to charge money for to take pictures with yeah. uh, i think there's uh, will attract a lot of sort of freelance you know spider-man's just like on the mm-hmm. hollow hollywood yeah. thing and then they will ask people to take yeah, pictures and take stuff pictures. yeah much kind of like the streets of uh mm-hmm. times square Oh. All those. Have you been there? I bet the people Sis. giving giving in Times Square people giving away free CDs. They're like, and then you took it. They're like, you had to pay. Yeah. Yeah. What? what? If you took those CD, they ask you to if pay. You put your hand on it. They're like, you yeah, have to pay. yeah. Because that's throw what, that shit back at them. And, and yeah, but then you don't have to pay. Oh my God, at least they're not crazy. being violent. Because they're like, oh, here's my CD, blah blah. blah. And then I took it, and then say, oh, then you have to pay. And they're like, um, sorry, I don't have a CD player. Oh. <laughs> And True. then I give it back. Yeah. Yeah. I think I really have to um, give my dog a snack just so um, she stopped yeah. bothering us. Go because it. it's being, um, yeah, distracting. I can, I can tell because Edward is having that face expression of uh, the the recent was- video of Irene. Because uh, Irene was like, <laughs> oh, at the airport. Yeah, at the airport, someone accidentally pushed her and she's like, mm. Like she, she tries. Oh my god! To, I thought I was looking at Irene just now. Yeah, she, she, she tries to uh, put on smile. Yeah, and honestly, face, I don't even blame her because I'd be so pissed. You First, we're getting mobbed. Mm-hmm. Second, someone pushes, mm-hmm. and then I heard apparently someone hurt her foot. Mm-hmm. So I would on top of that, but also the fact that she had that scandal for her anger issues back in the day. Mm-hmm. She had to control her face. Yes. I couldn't even do it. That, so I don't blame her. Just, Iconic, to yeah. be honest. You can tell that she's holding her anger. Oh yeah, she's about to have it on it, but mm-hmm. she's—they expect her to smile, which is crazy. Yeah, which is you right at my dog at this moment. I can tell if I don't uh, give yeah, her yeah, a I'm snack. Trying, no, because I'm trying to concentrate on what you're saying, but she's just like very distracting. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Dog. Are you possessed or are you giving a wool job? Both. <laughs> I guess I'm getting pounded. I'm getting so fucking pounded. Okay, so I'll give my Miss Cardi. Uh, How about you do it instead of telling the audience? I'm gonna Cardi, cut this go, out anyway. go home. The recently. Yes. I, we're gonna say something. Uh, you you say it first. Go ahead. I was gonna ask you what uh, do you think of the the, the new debut of Baby Monster? Because I think I have no feelings. I didn't watch anything that they uploaded. Because. Uh, even before um, the the official debut, one person actually quit it. Mm-hmm. I thought that was pretty iconic, to be honest. Yes, Ion, I think Ion. Ion, and she was the one that people were kidding. She was supposed to be like the next Jenny. Jenny, honestly, good for her. Good for her. She probably would have released one album every three years. <laughs> but you know, but and then she'd why be she... the one that's like, yeah, uh huh. But why she <laughs> does have a lot of connections, and um, I think if I mean Ion is in the group not quitting, I think um, they might. Produce the just ne- the next big oh, top of go group. Of course, because I mean Blackpink. We don't know their future, but I think Blackpink's future is going to be very bright and successful because doing at this other point, things. there's no yeah, doing, doing other, other things. things yes. Yeah, there's at this point there's no stopping them mm-hmm. because I think I, I I think YG did do a, a really good job of producing the music and training and everything, mm-hmm. but I think the combination between the artist and the you know the Suluksa, the agency is like the greatest. Mm-hmm. So that's why it makes them so successful. I think the four of them are, they're very very talented. The other day I uploaded a video um, with the idol group, and the title of the original title was "Say Hello to My Drag Daughters." You know what a drag daughter is? No. You know drag queen is? Yes. So if you're a drag queen, you know, and you have you establish your brand, um, let's say you have some friends. And they also want to be drag queens, so you help them out. Oh, so that's her drag daughter. Yeah, so it's kind of like sambe hube, uh-huh. right? That situation. So me, I do makeup, right? I've been using it for a long time, so I'm I tech, I, I'll be the drag mother. And in this video, I'm doing their makeup, right? So they're my drag daughters. It's like a joke, obviously, right? Kunde, I uploaded that company. They were like, oh my god, every that video was so much fun. Like they they've never had any content like that before um just like my style of editing and just like you know that kind of fun yeah. stuff but most of the stuff they do is very official just like interviews and shit yeah. 
So they're like, oh my God. So the CEO hit me up. She's like, oh my God, I have more plans. To be honest, I don't know why they didn't. I was like, yeah, I'd be so ha- I'd be so down to film more videos with them because the group has like quite a number of members, but I only collab with three of them. I don't know why they did that. Um, so I guess with the one video, they're like, oh, I guess his videos are fun. So I guess we should do all of them. And I'm like, yeah, you should have done that from the beginning. Mm-hmm. But um, so she, they were like, yeah, the CEO was like, yeah, I've, I, did, I have plans for, I don't know, I have ideas for other stuff. You know, there she wanted to set up a meeting. But then later that evening, uh, one of the staff messaged me was like, Edward, could you help me out? I was like, what happened? I, I, was, I didn't even reply yet. I was just reading her messages, but she's like, some fans are kind of upset with the title of the video and we're asking if you could change it. Cause they were like, they're upset that I'm calling them daughters and turning them into girls. And oh. in my head, I was like, does that person, the fans, maybe they don't speak English. So they yeah, 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 no, that's, that's literally what, that's what I, they, it has mm-hmm. to be that way. They don't get it. Um, it's that's the kind of humor that people that watch me only they would really know, I mm-hmm. think, or people that are in the that you know are familiar with drag culture. Um, I changed it. I was like, yeah, okay, I'll change it, whatever. But I told her I was like very serious. I was like, don't ever come back on my channel if because b- this shit. I spent two weeks editing this video. Mm-hmm. I during the time I was also busy, so girl, and they kept asking me like, oh, when where's the clips? So I was like, girl, I'm busy, but I'm still editing the editing the video. Finally edited it, uploaded it. It's just the title. It's not that big of a deal. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, if you're going to come on my channel and can't even, and you're getting the shit for free, I literally, I bring my own camera, I bring my own equipment, I edit everything myself, but you can't even allow me to do my own thing, especially for something as simple as just the title, mm-hmm. which isn't even that bad. Oh, maybe one fan complained about it. And the rest of them really yeah, liked it. Just, just, I'm sure it's just a handful um, that don't even know me. So I was like, don't come back on here if you can't even allow me to... Do my do my own thing. If I did something like crass Crying, and evil, yes. yeah, okay, tell me. But, but I didn't. Yeah, you don't yeah, do them, you yeah. don't do things like that. So, um, she was very kind about it. She was like, "Oh, I'm so sorry. I just, you know, some fans can be very sensitive." I'm like, I didn't reply to. It. I just read it. I was like, oh, "Okay," but yeah, now I just don't feel like collaborating with them anymore. <sighs> I think that's one of your pattern. Like if. Um, if some of them got got, got on your pet peeves, mm-hmm. like it's not nothing big, but it, it sort of is your pet peeves. You really oh, don't like honey. it, and then you lost all your um, so my motivation, jung. my yes, your tongue. Yeah. yeah, I just mm. I don't hate them or anything. It's just like, nah, you you literally, but you you're actually doing doing like voluntarily. Good eh. job. Uh huh. And a lot of times I use these groups' music, so a lot of times um, the copyright. It would be copyright claims, so I can't make it. They they'll get be getting the money from it. So I, I would I should be asking them like, oh, can you just whitelist the video? And usually they'll do it, but some of these companies are so slow, and I don't want to risk it. So that's why if you watch the video, and I, I, there's a part I play their song, I put some weird vocal, like distortion on it, so that it, it doesn't just, detect. Yeah, mm-hmm. all right. So because I'm too lazy, to, can you please whitelist this video? Because I want to just upload it immediately. Exactly. Stuff mm-hmm. like that will take. It literally is just a f- matter of a phone call and they'll change it. But these companies can be so fucking lazy. So co- sometimes it can take weeks. So I don't even bother. But well, anyway, that's, I thought that was just um, funny. Korean companies with their underpaid employees. Actually, this company is based in Hong Kong. Oh. Yeah. Well, I uh, wish them the best. I really do. So I, gonna be like, I have a Chinese friend. I'm going to make him be very. I'm going to have a few words for you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and they were like China, Hong Kong. They're, <laughs> yeah, they're still like yeah. <laughs> they're people that yeah. They probably think that. Mm. Yeah. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. But I understood where the fans come from. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. I, and like, half of me is like I get it, but also the other half is like these bitches don't even fucking know who I am. They don't give a shit. Mm-hmm. Like even if I change the title, what's gonna change? Because um, because they didn't they uh, they put their. F- Fans favor like in front of you, and but where mm-hmm. you all did all the the, the, the hard work, and mm-hmm. you you you, mm-hmm. did, you didn't even charge any money, mm-hmm. you give them free publicity. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Then, yeah, and then you you because you speak English, so you knew that title is mm-hmm. being funny, yeah. but they couldn't understand it. But yeah. on the company side, they just want their idol's image to be as yes, as clean as possible. Yeah, as clean as possible. Don't come on my channel then if you want that. <laughs> yeah, if you look at Edward's channel, it, it, which is also funny to me because I've complained this about for one of my videos where uh, there was a girl group I worked with, but I didn't upload the video because too much restrictions. Too much restrictions, but it just the thing that annoys me the most more than that is the fact that when, especially when there's a middle company involved that connects me to oh, these idol companies, the agency, I tell them send them my playlist of idol videos and let them watch it. They don't watch it. 
So they don't know what kind of humor I have. All they see is my numbers and they're like, Oh, you want to be on this channel? But then it comes time to recording, and then they suddenly are like, Tangwangsuro. They're like, taken aback. I was like, Did you bitches fucking watch my videos? They never do. They never fucking do. They never do. Oh my God. And the thing that killed me the most was how originally I was going to film because I go, I think I was like sick or something, or like I was, I was exhausted and I couldn't, or I had something to do that day. So I was like, Oh, I don't think I'm going to, because it's not really like, I don't really collaborate with girl groups that often unless they're kind of well known um, amongst foreigners. This group is, does not have any foreign followers. Mm -hmm. They're mostly like Japanese or Korean. So I was already like about it, like, Oh, I don't feel, but the person connecting was like, Oh, they were so excited to work with you though. So I felt bad. So I was like, Oh, okay. Are they though? <laughs> I guess not. Uh, l l l often, oftentimes, I feel like the Korean companies, they're just saying it. Just Girl, exactly. Yes. That's, that's the day I realized these bitches, they'd be like, oh, we just want to be on Edward Villa's channel. No, because back then when I when I used to do YouTube and um, I, I met those like um, MC and Depio, they're like, oh my god, I love your videos. I watch it like, mm, I watch it all the time. It's so, so much fun. I'm like, my video, I teach Korean. Why would you watch my video? Like I literally, <laughs> what I do is like I do like Korean tutorials, mm -hmm, then, mm -hmm. which will make no sense for Korean people mm -hmm. to watch. Yeah, yeah. So I said, "Oh, which video do you watch?" Mm -hmm. And she's like, "Oh, uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes." Yes. And then I caught her right there. Yeah. I'm like, mm -hmm. "Girl, you never watched my video. You don't mm -hmm. know who I am. Mm -hmm. You just said that you gotta test them." Yeah. If you if you don't watch it, it's fine. I didn't ask you to uh, watch it, but just don't come to my face and say then you yeah. watched it. Right? So if you. If, you know, if you rec if they recognize you, but, oh shit, I see you on YouTube. But to be like, oh, I love your fucking video, like don't lie like yeah, that. Yeah, you don't I have much, to. It's okay. Yeah, I much. If you just say like, oh, I've seen you before, I much appreciate that more than lying. I remember one time, it, it was just like I didn't take this seriously. It was just like a funny moment. But a long, long, long time ago, I was in Myeongdong um, during my vlogging era and stuff. So oh. um, I would get recognized a lot in Myeongdong or like Hongdong. Uh, Hong Hong and this group of girls came up to me. One of them came up. She's like, oh my god, my friend is such a big fan. Like show. And then she was like, they were all very close by. So she's like, oh my gosh, she's such a big fan. Can you take a picture with her? I looked at her and as a joke, I was just like, oh, really? What's my name? And she's like, uh, uh. <laughs> I think she was just like caught in the moment, but as a job, I was like testing her, like, then what's my name if you like my video so much? But uh, no, she knew who I was. It's just, a, I, of know, course, yeah. yeah. But that, that's funny. But yeah, same vibe I get when um, I tell people I'm a YouTuber, and oh, man, it's so awkward when a friend of mine would be like, yep, he's a 1.5 million subscriber YouTuber, and then they're like, oh, 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 follow Haikyo, follow Haikyo. But like, I literally immediately, the thing I immediately always say is like, okay, you'll follow me, but are you going to watch my videos? Because usually these are Korean people, mm -hmm. and like, honey, they're not gonna watch my fucking videos. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. They're but not gonna watch. Maybe it's the, their way of showing um, respect and yeah, politeness. Okay. But I, you, you could say something else beside, "Oh, I will follow you and I'll watch your video." Because yeah. I know you won't. It's yeah. okay. It's yeah. like, oh, really? You're, uh, you're really well known on YouTube. I mm -hmm. appreciate it. I will check out your channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And right. then I think it's stop there. It's more genuine. Yeah, and more. Yeah. I, it feels more polite to me. Uh, Why would you like? I'm a huge fan. I watch you all the time. I, I know What's my last video I uploaded <laughs> Yeah I know the only channel You watch is like Maybe NBC News Or Stop that Yes yeah, but... uh, This reminds me as well I went, I went to the I was clubbing A few weeks ago mm -hmm. And some girl came up She's like Oh my god Where have I seen you I was like I don't know, maybe YouTube. She's like, oh yeah, your video with VAV. I love it. VAV. Oh, is I worked with, with so long. It was before Corona. I worked with him so long. She's like, I fucking love you. I'm like, you've seen the one video and you love me like that? Like, but let's but, follow each other. I was like, okay. So, you did? Yes. But I muted her, so. No. I just, I don't know. She's like, next time, let's fucking hang out. Mm -hmm. But. Do I have she, to hang out? Yeah. Do I have to hang out because she watched my one VAV video? Uh -huh. But what, what does she do? She you just met her in the club and she's like she's complete strangers. Yeah. But and I, she's very sweet actually. She's very oh, nice. I but I was just like. Well, then, but uh, you know, uh, for, based on your MBTI, you don't make new friends. I don't. Yes. That's why I hang out with you, Hollyway. And there you go. Mm-hmm.
because Yuna contacted me a few times. So I'm mm-hmm. like, yeah, we really should get together. Yeah. yeah like, Yuna, I hang out with Yuna, but that girl, she's like me. So yeah. we have two people like me that we're never going to hang out. The energy level is just. Yeah, uh, you're the one that has to be like, all right, ladies. Yes, so when are we? Let's go. Like, <laughs> me, me, you with you, and Yuna, yeah. we're in Jeju-do. Okay, then the next uh, schedule we're going to go mm-hmm. is this restaurant, mm-hmm. and this restaurant involves this and this, and yeah. you, me, and Yuna. Like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm I, yeah, I'm like this um the tour guide I'm dragging you mm-hmm. to uh, to this destination to next destination. But I'm okay but, with you, so that's fine. But if it was someone I don't really care for that's telling me like Wah! I'm just like, oh. but I had a lot of fun, you know. We should do that again. But I'm, I'm, again for a weekend, never a whole week. That whole week was like the longest week of my life. <laughs> I felt like, the, and all, not just that, but because I just got back from America, no, yes. so it was like trip on trip on trip. Yes. So I, was I like, can tell that you just you love Jeju and everything, but you, you just cannot wait to go back to um, yeah. to to Seoul at your in your apartment, mm-hmm. sleeping in our bed, play games, and yeah. swipe on Tinder. But watching the vlog from back then, it Tim used to play as well. Yeah, oh, no, I know the, we, the memories. Yeah, yeah. You remember the food? It's that like we every had? clip. I'm like, where are we again? <laughs> yeah, but um, if ever anyone ever asks me what to do in Jeju, I always tell refer them to that video because I just I put the link to all the places. Mm-hmm. So those places I did a lot of homework. Yeah, so yeah. credits to Edward over here. Yeah, but I, I just hope the the restaurant this still exists because every time we can I go know. back, right? That's the thing. Like I think about when I'm vlogging, it's like I can put the link to this place, but in two months, it's gonna be here still. Yeah, maybe, probably not, because yeah. Jeju changes like it's a Jeju also updates, everything. Yeah, yeah, updates their restaurant a lot. But do make sure you go to that sushi place. Remember, you don't sushi. You don't, yeah, the, the omakase. The 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 one the, with the, the one guy mm-hmm. there. Yeah, the cheaper pretty, yeah. the cheap omakase place is my favorite. It's really omakase, omakase place. Yeah, it's not that expensive. Really? Yeah. It's the, like the one where the guy was like fifty-five dollars. The one he was making the sushi for us. Yeah, it's fifty-five. In a very small. Yeah. That was. I thought that, that wasn't like luxury price. That's you might tell them. Really? Yes. Oh, I was just like I just swiped my card, so I didn't know. But mm-hmm. oh. this girl never checked. I did. Yeah. It, it came to the point where it's just like, all right, just let me know how much I have to send you. That's why. That's why I asked specifically in the group chat uh, mm-hmm. to you and him. I was like, oh, this place is very. Uh, the price point is very affordable, and uh, it's my favorite restaurant. Blah blah oh. blah. To convince you guys to go, and as it turned out, you know, because I remember we would do like one expensive, and then the rest would be like rather affordable. Mm-hmm. I thought that was expensive. But the expensive one. One is like forty, fifty dollars, not like mm. super, like not hundred dollar price point, because I'm just afraid that like they 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 won't, um, because it's Jeju, right? It's mm. very it's inside of Korea, like traveling, so they don't want to splurge yeah. on the budget. So that's why I try to convince them and then tell them all the the menus and everything, the ambience of the restaurant. I send um, photos, and this person hates um, like when people don't check the the like the reference everything, but there there she goes. She does not check either. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that's, it's a restaurant where he showed us the melon that looks like a middle finger, right? That's not a melon. That's a that's an orange. Oh, right, that place, right? And so that's okay. not a middle. Finger. I thought that was expensive. It, it was expensive. giving expensive to me. Uh, Edward is mentioning an episode where the chef is showing us you know, we are looking orange that has yeah that, it's that restaurant yes, you're talking about right with a finger uh, but it look, yeah it looks like a, it looks like this yeah because the, the the orange is like they're round like this but uh-huh. it has like a, a little, thing, yeah, little thing you're sticking out mm. and then he wasn't re- re- referencing that to a finger he was referencing to to a penis that, ah, and it, right. yeah he's like oh the uh, because he was making a sushi and then and like look at this weird orange it has a penis and then <laughs> all you guys laugh and you don't remember <laughs> no i just remember him showing us a funny uh, yeah. fruit yeah and yeah. then i'm afraid that you mentioning this is going to invite people to think that they can just ask you for recommendations now even um, though we've had this conversation about how people oh. will be like hey love your video so recommend some places for me Girl. Yes. Like uh, I um I got a DM and like Edward Edward I love your videos so much. Um, you know, I watch all your videos and I, I appreciate your work, blah blah blah. And I, I really want to know where you get your nose job done. And then <laughs> I I really kindly replied him. I was like, Oh thank you for watching and I did it here, but please consult with the doctor before I do anything, blah blah and he ignored my message. Like he read it and he didn't say thank you. I'm dead. It's so st- you can just send him one of those uh, if you've ever commented or mm-hmm. TM to one of those official like makeup brands or any brand and, and um, you get immediate like uh, response because mm-hmm. you can set if you're a business on Instagram you can set that to uh, send an automatic message where it's like mm-hmm. hey dearie thanks so much for your message please refer to blah 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 you should have just sent that <laughs> um, hey dearie Hey, Deary, uh, <laughs> if you any, want any um, plastic surgery the CEO of that company also called me Deary I was like <laughs> She's from Hong Kong. <laughs> they just love, cause um, 
Oh, I activate your, your, your Siri. Your Siri. She said, oh, "You called me." Mm. That's a how. I'm just, I'm just surprised at how your Siri is a woman's voice because a lot of gay people, <gasps> Australian said, male, oh, love it. I love it. I think it was your WhatsApp, but I think when I got my new phone, I didn't. Oh, say you, it, you yeah. forgot. Because yeah, um, so I'm still part of the problem. Yeah, I know. The you know every single morning, an Australian man's voice wakes you wakes you up. It's, it sounds so. You have that set. Mm. I just have a regular alarm. Oh, okay, I was like, um, like ask Siri to wake me up, and then hey know, baby, when, when I boil pasta, I was like Siri, wake me up in seven minutes because I was boiling pasta, and then why so, are you gonna ask her to wake you up? Because you um, set an alarm for. Because it just so, it's easier to say set an alarm because. Uh. You have to set an alarm. It's just it sounds uh, just, it sounds like a tongue wake, twister. Wake me up is more yeah yeah rough to, okay, yeah. So I when you pronounce I it, that. yeah, I, I do it, should, it all the time. Uh, it's just it's the same alarm though. Yeah, same alarm. Uh-huh. It's just like, Siri, wake, Siri, wake me up in seven minutes. Siri's like, bitch, you're gonna take a seven minute nap? What the fuck? <laughs> Siri is literally um, artificial intelligence. She will understand you. She won't judge you. Yeah, yeah, not like we ask to each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just hope that um, the world can be a nicer place for um for us, you know, Edward. And um yeah, we just hope that after this show then we can grow a little bit more and become a mature woman. That's really kind to you. Unfortunately each other. I see no progress in that department, but okay. <laughs> well Okay, Edward. <laughs> what was it what was it you want to talk about? You talked about oh well, I could talk about so much stuff. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I, you know what? Let's see. I just um I want to talk about this um, to you because I had a lot of um, mixed um, opinions to, um, mm-hmm. from my friends. Mm-hmm. Because recently, do you, do you know there's a, um, there's a huge scandals about uh, scammers in Korea? What kind of scammers? Um, I mean, there's so many already. <laughs> oh, I know. Like, there's a there's a Us. woman pretend yes on our face scammers. Uh, truly, there's a woman. Um, she pretends to be the third generation of the heir of the Paradise Hotel. So Paradise in, Hotel. Oh, yes. So in Korean, it's called Chebor mm-hmm. Samse. So third generation of the Chebor. Mm-hmm. Chebor means like really rich family. Gizhi, gizhi. The heir. She pretends to be that. So what she did is she dressed up as a man. She like shaved her head and everything, and wearing glasses to make uh, her her look present as masculine as possible. And then she approaches to this ex-national Olympic champion. I'm just imagining woman. her like Gangnam only face, but just bald. <laughs> but she did not do any prolapse surgery. No, she just natural. yeah, she just changed her her hair mm, color. Okay. She approaches to this um um the uh, the formal Olympic champion, and then she's like, oh, I'm I'm this Chebar. I'm this. I came from this rich family. I have this so much business. And then let's be girlfriend boyfriend. And then. <laughs> They got married immediately. They got married later. There has been record saying that this scammer has been sending her like gifts, like cars and uh, you know designer bags, and then she's being very happy. And she knew that the the girl does not have a penis. He knew the girl. And you know, the the Olympic champion is a she. All so, oh, right, because she's pretending to be a man. Yes. Ah. Uh, yeah. And she's the Olympic. Champion that she's trying to call so is a woman. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay, okay. And then the scammer is telling telling her that oh, I was born in the wrong body. I'm actually after the Olympian found out that yeah, it's actually a woman. Yeah, because they found out like of uh, course very soon, mm. like because they they were dating. Yeah. Um, but I will do like you know gender re- reassignment surgery later. But please accept me as your boyfriend. Blah blah blah. And then I think because of uh, how many gifts and she she received or something probably. She decided to go with it, and then the scammer even tell him that in the recent technology, you can actually do um, testicle trans. Yeah, and yeah. So you can, you can. I can impregnate you she, with my. The scammer told the yeah, Olympian this. Yeah, and then she, but she, even though it's not real information, the scammer. Yeah, it's not real, and the the, the scammer even gave him uh, like a, a pregnancy test. The scammer gave her. Uh, give her, yeah, and saying that um, try this, and then you. Wait, she she made a fake yes pregnancy test. I mean, test. I mean, positive. Yes, positive. How do you fake that? And then, then that's why a lot of people are saying that the Olympian champion is stupid. Is she, not stupid, but she knew she knew this the whole time because she loved the money so much. So just so, so just she went with it. Wait, wait, wait. The scare though. I thought she was scamming that she was a chebar. Mm-hmm. She is, not, is. she actually a chebar? She's not a chebar. She's just right. a normal person. She actually um. What she does is she sort of scam other people to get all the money. She wants to. She wants to have a wife, like Olympic champion wife, because she wants to 
do an even bigger scam on other people because she's like, oh, you know, I'm this shipper, I have, I'm this, I have this identity, and I have my wife is like Olympic champion. Uh. You can see on the news. So please give me some like financial investment on my company. Oh my, this is so complicated. Yes. What is it that your friends are like? Pande opinion about opposing opinion about because they were saying that a lot of people saying that the the the, the woman the Olympic champion who got scammed. Um, she d- did not know um, she was being scammed the whole time but uh, some people were saying that she sort of know but because she, all the gifts and every, all the financial uh-huh. support that she got from the scammer then she sort of just went the slow because I, she was defending the scammer at first mm-hmm. when she got caught because she uploaded the, their marriage photo mm-hmm. and that saying that she got she's getting getting remarried because mm. she got divorced before previously the yeah the olympian but people people on the conversation saying you are getting married to a woman like because everyone was got shocked because from the picture clearly people can that's a clear woman how do you the the olympic champion is defending herself no i just got pregnant recently mm. my, my my husband is a man a real man i knew it yeah, I think, yeah, that's and what it then is. she changed uh, her you know change her, she changed her word saying Oh, I knew that she's a woman, but she's about to get tra- a root transgender reassignment surgery. She cut her, you know, boobs. Um, did she? Yeah, she did. <gasps> yes. The lengths she will go. Oh, Yo, yeah. You didn't know this? I think I heard about this story, but I didn't really look into that much. Oh, but okay. I, I heard there's like rumblings of the sort of story. That's mm-hmm. crazy. It's crazy. And you know what? Even more crazy. Mm. Um, the scammer because she wants to get more money. So in the beginning of this, this her early scamming stage, she, she will wear like wigs. Mm-hmm. So because um, I think, don't call me from from this because I think she got married for four times and or five times, two twice to women, three times to to guys. Oh so not only she's um, using a fake ident- identity mm-hmm. to to scam women, mm-hmm. but sometimes she wear a wig. So she has longer hair, and then she'll scam men into having, you know, like ro- ro- romantic scams, like wow. asking men to, you know, to um, give her money and everything because she, she needs to use that money as a, f- a fund to actually mm. to invest more on this Olympic champion too, you know. But then, so invest as an Olympic champion. Mm-hmm. What's the main goal at the end? Mm. Just to create this, like what? I think just uh, that's why I feel like uh, after watching this, I feel mm. like. They probably might have been really in love. You think so? I well, after but now that now they're um they're accusing each other. Because the scammer said the I really continues. love her. Oh. I really love her and everything. I did I, you know, I, I did give all the gifts to her like because I really love her. And then the Olympian is cutting the line so no, like this is a scam. I was scammed like Now he's realizing yeah, it's a scam. Yeah, because you know, because the public um the opinion towards them are not really nice, mm. so that's why. So no one knew what really happened because this this still is uh, this stu- is still on trial. So they're suing. They're suing each yeah. other. Yes, each other. Yeah. What would what would the scammer be suing her for? I, I like the. Um, let's see. I just uh, read it right on news, so I, I'm not really for sure. For me, though, the thing that confuses me, oh, to, to, to be honest, the mm. the two opinions you're talking about, I feel like the second one makes sense. Like the money is blinding her to. It's just that there's factors that um, people like to, because it's just coming from me because you know my last my ex was kind of a scammer too. Oh yeah. So um, it was nothing that crazy, but um, people have told me like uh, it's kind of shady. But you know he was really kind to me and all that. And um, to, even for me, I questioned a lot of it. But for some reason, I never went full in with like because you you're you're afraid uh, it's it's like a Pandora's box if you open it. I don't even think it was that. It was just uh. I don't know. I never. I don't know why I never questioned it. Um, I just went along with it. Mm. Mm, so I kind of the, sec- the people with that second to me kind of. I can totally see why. I think that makes um, sense because you don't just like you. You hire someone. You mm-hmm. you you. If you don't have a HR department, uh-huh. you actually you hardly ever do the background research. Uh-huh, you just uh-huh, trust uh-huh. the person. Yeah. yeah. Um, and of course, I, I I liked him. So you know, when people were like talking negatively, of course, he's my boyfriend. So I'd be like. Whatever, no, he's fine. Uh, but also, as an INCJ, I kind of agree. I'm like, but this is coming from like an outside person. It's like, how the fuck did you not know? Like, it was a scammer to begin with, hmm. right? But yeah. this kind of actually um, reminds me of this um, another scandal uh, a long, long time ago. Mm-hmm. Like, I think he was a. Um, 
Beijing Opera artist. Beijing Opera. In, you know, in Beijing Opera, on the stage, everyone is a fem- male mm-hmm. person, and then if there's a female character, they will like dress up as a woman. Sounds like the Yen and I, like back in the day, how they used to do that. My dream job, it's literally. Why, why haven't you started Eddie? Well, well, we are doing Bunny and Cherry, but oh. uh, maybe not anymore. But ah! <laughs> speaking of that, I watched Rent recently. Uh huh. Rent. The musical. Rent. The music. No, is it good? Yeah. Um, oh, I, I saw the posters. I think. All oh, right, yeah, recently yeah, yeah, they yeah. started up again in Korea. Uh-huh. Jo Gwon plays Angel, mm-hmm. the, the the drag queen. And I was like, Jo Gwon. That's me. That's me, and Edward. Anyway, the the um, what happened is the Be- Beijing Opera um, artist, sh- uh, he he actually um, dressed up as a woman, mm. and then people saying that he is a comet comet. Wait, spy. he dressed up as a woman outside of the opera. Or in during in the opera, he, he dressed up as a woman and purposely approached to this um, um, the French embassy. Ooh. There's a because this this was made into a movie. Mm-hmm. I think um, the movie's name is Madame Butterfly or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because this is it was really shocking to the world. Sounds like then. an episode of Bunny and Cherry. <laughs> <sighs> Madame Bunny and Cherry. Bunny and Cherry get visas. <laughs> yeah, that's how we get our green card <laughs> and free healthcare. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> what, a doctor? Well, anyway, Thank you, doctor. He purposely approached this uh-huh. French, um, the person who worked in the French to embassy, seduce him. To seduce him, wow. and then people are saying that uh, he's actually a spy from the Communist Party because he wants to, you know, get all the you know inside informations from the French government mm-hmm. because the person that he he was seducing is uh, works for the embassy, but they they've been together for so many years on, on the trial mm-hmm. um, because this is actually I think. I'm, I don't remember it so clearly, but they got sued because uh, I think this um, Chinese male Beijing opera like, artist person did get like some in, like inside information from the French government, so it's actually leaking very mm. secretive yeah. um, files from country to country. So it, it's a very severe crime, and then both of them got sued. Oof. Yeah, and then on the trial, um, the judge was asking the French uh, embassy man like, "You didn't realize he." is actually a male person and mm-hmm. th- is not a, a, a woman. And then the French embassy guy said, every time we would do it, um, we will dim the lights very, very dark. <laughs> I could not see anything. So the eyes don't adjust? I did not realize it. Oh my, she, he didn't see the, the dick flopping around? I, yeah, I, but I feel like, how could you not know? I, I feel like this, he knew, but he, they would just love each other so much. So, I mean. That's crazy. Yeah, I feel like. If you guys have the how, time, you can long, check the movie. How long was this relationship? Uh, I, th- I think it lasts for uh, again don't quote me it's like like 10, 10 years Edward something. reading the back of the DVD box getting the synopsis no it's um, <laughs> it's a famous movie um, and you watched the movie for, I, um, I almost watched it she watched the analysis on YouTube she watched the first half while I was doing dishes so I was yeah, not yeah, watching I was listening to it yeah so you finished your dishes before you could get to the end of the but still I um I, I knew a, a piece of it so I can talk about it on the I'm curious, podcast I'm curious as to how long the relationship went for and he didn't re- it, it must be very long even if even if it lasted two months I'd be like and you didn't realize there was a wee wee yeah I would realize that this first day um, that would make me a slut I would realize it in the first month <laughs> I, she said that would make me a slut. Wow. Don't Going. you think? Like, it doesn't matter how dark the room is. You know that person have a penis or vagina. Yeah. You know, they have the blackout curtains. But, I mean, if they're, like, pansexuals. Can't the moonlight. You no, know, the definition of, like, the pansexuals and bisexuality yeah. is not to be spoken about mm-hmm. back in the days. So, I mm-hmm. guess... It's in Korea still a little bit taboo, mm-hmm. so I feel like mm, they might be like really loving each other, and they not necessarily they're all heterosexuals. Mm, maybe yeah. So they they pretend they're like oh, I just didn't see it, you know. In in, in the court. Yes. Yeah, I can see that. So yeah, so their image is not gonna be gone as bad, mm-hmm. I guess. But there's just a lot of scammers out there. Sure. You got scammed. I'm not a scammer. We got scammed, and we have become the scammer. Mm, you know I, what they say? You are what you eat. Oh well, <laughs> I don't. I don't lie to people. Um, beside my uh, my, <laughs> you know my, how many men I've been with and oh yeah, we know that. If I'm it's a, okay, we know that. Yeah, if I'm a virgin or anything, it is um. I love how our our sort of like pattern is we talk. We have a story, and we always have to end the story on us slut shaming ourselves. 
Because <laughs> we can't slush him other people. Yeah, yeah well, we won't either. Uh, we have great friends like Hannah. His um, Hannah's mother got scammed as well. Really? Yeah, she didn't know because mm-hmm. they, they were in Spain. Um, because you know how Korean like, elders they will go to like this group tour together held by Korean big companies. Mm-hmm. So they went to Spain as a, a group tour, and then uh, at that in Spain, she, uh, Hannah's mother met another middle-aged woman who is uh, relatively younger than her mm-hmm. and then the younger woman is calling her an only and uh, trying to be friend with her and the hannah's mother is being very nice mm-hmm. and very like sort of naive mm-hmm. so like oh let's be friend and everything and then they became like really good friends and um, the younger middle-aged woman was saying that she came from this very rich family and uh, she's an um cello artist mm-hmm. so she started this arts and she the persona that she's giving is very like rich family daughter vibe go ahead and immediately check that hand uh, to see if there's any calluses yeah if i don't see the calluses yeah. scammer as a person who does not play any instrument i wouldn't know <laughs> yeah but yeah uh, i do have some in my hands so. from all the Hard, no from all the cooking in other word yeah cooking up the sperm you uh you, this there are people there are children watching us Edward. girl anyway so yeah, yeah she's telling her she's I'm rich sorry. from a rich family yeah, i'm sorry this show is not all about butterfly Edward, people watching this show they know what they're getting into so anyway yeah it's so, not our job we're, th- we're in our 30s it's not our job to police people's kids okay girl, so if you want to turn the fucking welcome to the adult get, world download them youtube kids we are the amsterdam of the um the europe so oh my god anyway so um, yeah she told her that she was from a rich family yeah Yes, and then later on, like she will invite Hannah and uh, Hannah's mother to all these mm, um, like fancy, din- I- yeah, fancy dinners uh-huh. in like Joseon Hotel, which is like five star hotels in in Korea. Mm-hmm. And then at that night, they got invited. Yeah, they order like a whole bunch of food, but the- she didn't even show up. <laughs> but at the like, she was like, "Oh, I'm sorry," and then she called later. And they said, oh, I'm really sorry. I'm in the middle of um, my my concert. So I couldn't, I thought it will end, uh, like the, my concert will end very early. So I asked you to come to this restaurant at this uh, mm-hmm. date and time, but uh, it ends up getting procrastinated, but I will pay for everything. So don't worry. And there was a man who came later and then really did pay everything. Mm-hmm. So they were, they were like, oh, maybe she really, she, wa- she was like late because mm-hmm. of her concert. Mm-hmm. But later on, they found out she was not a child artist. There's no concert holding. Uh-huh. Because she's saying that um, she, her concert is held in Yesule Chondang. Mm-hmm. Yesule Chondang is sort of this concert hall exclusively for uh, classic um, instrument mm-hmm. um, artists, yeah. uh, which is in Nanbu Terminal in, in Seoul. So we, they really checked and she wasn't playing. But Before. after all these events like um, happening that convinced Hannah and Hannah's family that she is rich, the middle-aged woman was asking, do you want to go to this ex- uh, very extravagant, nice another uh, group tour with me because I knew I have a connection with this company so you can get like 30% off and this is very exclusive order mm-hmm. so give me the money first and I will, I'll pay it and then we can go together mm-hmm. and then Hannah's mom with all adult send her mm-hmm. like a lot of money for oh, the shit. trip and then there goes so no, yeah nobody showed up nobody showed up and then they called this company and said oh, we never had this sort of um, <laughs> travel package oh my god so, yeah we, we don't know this person but the money is already sent yeah but how they found out like um, she's a scammer and everything and they got the money back is as I said they really checked the concert um, the company hall, hall and everything the, her name was not registered mm. so she's not an artist mm-hmm. and then she really realized the man who came back later then paid the money is her fiance and that man is actually getting scammed as well because the man thought he was marrying someone from a rich family. Oh shit! Yes, so they found out that Ajusi did not know anything. So everyone was scammed. Yes, so oh they contact they contact the the middle aged woman. It's like if you don't give us uh, the money back, we'll actually tell everything to the police and uh, the Ajusi that you're getting married to because the Ajusi is actually has a decent job and everything. Yeah. So if she scammed the Ajusi and into marrying her, mm-hmm. then it's her ultimate goal. So she cannot let that like anyone to get in her you know plans so she gave the money back to hannah's mother i hope they expose her uh, yes good of course the fuck? of course it reminds me of uh when my friend his mom got scammed how got a phone call i have your son if you don't send this, this amount of money by this time 
I'm going to murder him. Uh-huh. Of course, she's going to freak out. Uh-huh. So she immediately was like trying to call my friend. She's like, oh my God, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? She, she already sent the money to the dude. She didn't and, even check? Oh, but because he's very in a rush. Yeah, right in a rush, right? And so my friend was like, I'm just right here. And they had to do all this shit to figure that out. But there were these people scamming. They didn't caught in the man I don't that I don't know. I'm pretty sure they but, couldn't. Yeah. Yeah, apparently this thing this is a thing that happens often. Uh, that happens a lot. They always call these older people. They'll, they'll believe it, of course. Mm-hmm. Right. So girls, girls you know it's a dangerous world out there and then I think you guys be really careful. You know what? Edward, um you know by the end of the show mm-hmm. what I I order some town who do do you want to do a little bit as AS, ASMR? I don't <laughs> for the next episode? No, like uh, for the end of the show, or do you want to do end it in the, the next show? one? Yeah, because we we we're already. I think, I'm gonna have a whole episode about scamming and then, then do tanguru ASMR at the end. No, but I'm I'm saying ASMR, not like we're gonna like do a full on like this. Uh, but I'm just because I want to talk about Korean tr- trend. Trend. Maybe the next episode. Okay, if you guys um, <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys had tanguru before though. Tanguru? Yeah. Tanguru is not that great. It's literally just fruit with sugar. <laughs> You know what? Edward has never tried. Um, probably she tried like candied apples in the American you got me shopping last malls. Time. Uh, it's not that great. The one I got. Oh, really? Because so I because I not you getting me below average tanguru. Because I never ordered before, but I, I found out there's a place that um mm-hmm. that serves like proper tanguru recently. Proper. I was gonna order it today, but mm-hmm. they are out of strawberries. Oh really? So I have to order it from somewhere else oh. again. But yeah, there there will be one day that you can try really good tanghulu when you uh, go to China with me. Hopefully. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't just say it. Do it. Edward, your little eye smiling. Don't just say it, do it. Yeah, it's because <laughs> you're like, oh, I'll I'll think about it. No, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I, then, you I, know, earlier you were, t- you were asking me like, are you doing anything for Christmas? I was like, well, I was thinking about going to Japan. You were like, not thinking about it. Edward, like actually do it. Yeah, like, you're you're like your MBTI ends with J. Mm. That means you you plan everything ahead of time. So don't just say, oh, maybe I will go, maybe I not go. No, you go and then you apply that visa. You you go on Sky Scanner well, and one, get your I'm ticket. American, I don't need a visa. Two, um, one, you're American. You know you do need a visa to go to China, just like how I need a visa to go to the states. That's why I'm not going to China. Okay, that's why Americans never get along with Chinese people. Ah, mm-hmm. true. Because they be uh, the country based on a high castle or something. That's um, uh, that's America, no? Based on what? The uh, high castle. You high know, you high know? castle. Yeah. What's high castle? I think that's um, the Sky ideo- castle? That's uh, the idea ideology of uh, how American is built. I have no idea. Let me uh, let me check. Anyway, we'll see y'all in the next episode. I really have to check the High Castle quote. Oh my god! As American, you don't know that. It's I've never heard of that. All I know is White Castle and Sky Castle. White Castle is a fast food strange chain. <laughs> Sky Castle is a Korean drama. If that's the only thing you know, I'm. Yep. I just felt really, really sad. How to be an American? Where at least I know I'm free. Well, um, <laughs> you know that explains a lot of uh, why Americans' um, economy is failing. By how, um, and yeah, that's why I'm in Korea. It's your history, oh. Edward. Okay, okay. It's your history i love how you look this up but you won't even look up the the tiktok of the penis girl <laughs> the effort edward the effort because anyway. i don't because what do what do you type in tiktok to find out the shanghai penis, penis girl, girl? Cost you. <laughs> anyway i'm too lazy to find out the yeah, high castle cult Bye. so yeah well, but you guys know like there there will be a like historians in our um comment sections please tell us <laughs> educate us the comment section. please tell us and educate us and have fun and um see ya yeah.